Good afternoon and welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. It clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for March 25th to April 8th. Before we get to the forecast, we're going to talk about the storm system um, that will be affecting the eastern U.S. This is a very strong storm. Um, we're going to look at the surface here and we're going to go. Well, how do I get in there? Okay. Um, we'll back it up a little bit. And here we are, 8 o'clock tonight. Um, we have a system organizing here down along the Gulf Coast. And then that will lift northeastward and intensify. And this will cause um, heavy rain along um, uh, along the East Coast. And then you notice where the 540 line is. Um, we'll have snow here across northern uh, New England. And then between that, parts of the uh, Catskills, Green Mountains, White Mountains, um, there'll be some icy mix down there in that region. Then we go, to, uh, this is like uh, early tomorrow. This is, um, let me see, 8 p.m. tomorrow. And then the system starts pulling out. So it seems to be a fast, but um, a fast system, but that's the GFS. We'll go back to the GFS. You can see where the snow is falling, where the snow is forecast, right? And you see where the rain and heavy storms. And it storms up very, very strong, but um, it um, it will bring a mighty punch. And then we have this storm system down to the south. That will cause some issues later on in the week. It looks like it's going out by the models, except for the GFS keeps it around for a while. So we have to look at that. So now we're going to look at um, rainfall amounts. And we're going to go here. Um, we're going to 8 p.m. tonight, then early tomorrow. We have some heavier pockets here along the southeast. This is in 12-hour intervals, one inch is still around one uh, one inch here across the northeast. Uh, so it'll start early in the morning. And then we go to later on in the evening, we see two, maybe two, three inches in some spots of rainfall, and then it moves out. That's the European... Oh, that's the GFS. So we'll have a look at the European. About the same. A little bit, uh, you know, one to two inches, six hour intervals. And um, so this will be a system to be dealt with. Along with that, we'll have gusty winds. Okay. So now um, we're going to look now. We're going to go to the period. Uh, go to the forecast period. Oops. Uh, go to the forecast. We'll go to the maps now. This is for the period for March 25th to 29th. So this is what we're looking at. We still have a ridge here of the central, central Pacific. Trough here across the west, above Nama Heights here. And we have above Nama Heights extended from the North Atlantic into the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. So um, then we'll have another storm system. We'll go to the surface here. Okay, the 25th to 29th. And this is be the next storm system that will be affecting the uh, parts of the east and central uh, states. We'll have a storm system here that will bring heavy snow to the, cent to the north central states. And then to the south, we'll have another area of rain. And this will bring uh, more rainfall to parts of the east that don't need any more rain. So we'll take a look at the soil and moisture index. Uh, this is as of yesterday. You can see it's very moist, and this is the area that there's going to be more rain. And then we'll look at uh, percentile. Okay, this is at the monthly percent pot, uh, monthly percentile. Okay, and we'll look at the daily. So there's not much difference. So this is a, a very moist area which are going to receive more rain. Okay, <clears throat> um, we're going to look now at snowfall uh, amounts for this storm. The next storm system is moving in. Oops, let's try to get this. Okay, this is in 12-hour intervals also, three or four inches. I think I see that's about the highest, five inches maybe, over a foot here in parts of western South Dakota. And then we'll go into the next day. Then we have, we get heavier snow amounts, 5, 9, 12 inches, another foot of snow. So this will be heavy, 
snow across this area. And then we'll look at the GFS. Generally say seven, uh, I saw 17 inches. Yeah, 17 inches here, 11 inches. So this would be a very impactful storm that will be bringing the region uh, snow here. Okay. Um, as the system, go back to the surface. As the system moves through the south central states, this will bring um, some very uh, heavy rain and cause flooding concerns. Um, for the lower Mississippi Valley and, and the Northeast Monday and Tuesday. So you see the system right here, Monday and Tuesday, lower Mississippi Valley here. Again, this is a very moist area and they're receiving more heavy rain. And then in the Northwest, um, we have a system moving in and this will bring mountain, uh, mountain snow, which you can see right here and valley rains. This will be the later part of the week, Thursday, Friday. Okay. All right. Now we're going to look at the period for, I have a lot of things on the on, um, computer here. Uh, we're going to look at the period now from March 30th to April 3rd. And this is what we're calling for. We still have our ridge here of the Central Pacific, trough here in the West, ridge here across much of the high latitudes in Canada and the East Coast. So I'm calling for this forecast period. Try it again. Below normal temperatures here. I'm calling for anomalies of 48 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures here. With anomalies of 48 degrees above normal. And for precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation here. And for this region, probability of occurrence is still 35%. Models are not handling this um, the long range very well with the rainfall amounts. And calling for uh, below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is near 35%. Now we're going to look at the period for March 4th to the 8th. And somewhat of a flatter flow compared to the previous period. But you can see the GFS has a ridge here of the east, trough in the west. And its ensembles has a trough across the west central states, trough here over... Of the southeast, I think it would be more something to that. And then we see the European ensembles flatter flow with uh, below normal heights, above normal heights here. So uh, for this forecast period, calling for a little change in temperature anomalies and for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here and for this area, and the probability of occurrence is near 40%. So that's a long range weather forecast discussion. From March 25th through April 8th. Thanks for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather and have a good day.